News Channel 5 on your side presents Kaleidoscope, focusing on people who make a difference in Northeast Ohio communities. Hello, everyone. Good to have you on the broadcast today. Another good one, but we always have a good one, don't we? Well, you can see downtown Cleveland from a whole new perspective this summer when Hattie Larlam hosts its annual Over the Edge fundraiser at the Weston Hotel. Events manager Wendy Volker and corporate relations manager Tani Alliance are both here to tell us more about that event. And we'll hear about downtown's largest summer music festival as well. Terry Pontremoli will join me to talk about the 2016 Tri-C Jazz Fest. And on the broadcast after that, Lorenzo Hayes, the chief program officer at Newbridge, will explain how his organization is helping individuals jumpstart their careers. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Leon Bibb. This is Kaleidoscope, and good to have you with us. And so we begin, beginning with Wendy Volker, who is seated on the left, events manager for Hattie Larlam, and Tani Alliance, corporate relations and major gifts officer for Hattie Larlam. Good to have you both with us. Thank you for yeah. having Thank us. Thank you, Leon. Yeah, Tani, let's begin with you. Tell me, refresh our minds on what Hattie Larlam is. Hattie Larlam is a nonprofit organization that provides services and opportunities for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The range starts from the profoundly disabled all the way up to people that can be fully employed and be functioning citizens. So you do a, you do a wonderful job. We in that, do. Right? We'll tell you, it's been around for we some do. years, as, as you and I were just mm -hmm. chatting a little bit. Yes. So the idea is to raise money so that Hattie Larlam can continue to do what it does. That's exactly right. We mm -hmm. thought we would present a unique fundraiser so uh, we could raise awareness about the work that we do and also raise funds to help continue to provide the services for the individuals that we serve. You're going to have people rappel off a downtown Cleveland building. We are. We are. It's it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. 22 stories down the side of the Weston Cleveland downtown. Yeah, I know we've got some video that you that you brought along, and perhaps mm -hmm. we can roll some of that video to show some of the things we're talking about. There's Tani herself, actually. Yes. That's Tani. <laughs> That's Tani. Now, this is from last year. You did this two years ago. Yeah. Two years. I'm doing it again this year. Yeah. So, yes. And there's me. There's okay. Wendy. There we go. So we both did it. Yeah. And, and this is completely safe. I mean, you, as a as we're here talking. You're to still talking. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> so this is a way to raise money. Now, now tell me about this repelling thing. Now, no, no. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with a company called Over the Edge, and they do these fundraising events for uh, nonprofits across mm -hmm. the United States. And they um, they're certified, trained rope specialists. So you don't have to have any experience mm -hmm. to participate in this event. Um, so if you earn your repel spot through your fundraising, you get trained from the ground and all the way down you're guided every step of the way from the top of the building all the way down to the ground and uh, the rope specialists are highly trained and everything is safe and it's very fun this is going to be july the first and july the second exactly yeah. and where are you where are you doing this where are we jumping off buildings i, I shouldn't <laughs> say it that way we're, we're repelling off That's buildings correct. we are repelling off the Downtown Cleveland Weston Hotel. Right there at the corner of East 6th exactly. Street and, and St. Clair. St. Clair, Clair. Mm -hmm. yes. 22 feet down. Two, I'm sorry, 220 right. feet down. 22 stories. You, what did you like about this? You did this uh, two years ago. And yes. I, I think you did this in an Akron building, was it, two years ago? Correct. Is that, if memory serves me correctly. Do you remember. How did you feel when you did that? It was amazing. It is a bucket list experience. I would honestly say, Leon, when you get to the edge of the roof and the over the edge techs say to you, okay, Tani, sit back mm -hmm. like you're sitting down yeah, yeah. and you look down and you look down 200 plus feet and you think to yourself, oh my God. And then you go down and you, it's the most 
amazing experience. Okay. It really is. How do you raise the money for this now? What happens? <laughs> Where, how, how, let's tie this into the fundraiser. Okay, absolutely. So we're inviting people to join us and fundraise for us. So what you can do is sign up on our website. You go to our website, which is HattieLarlam.org. Uh, you can go to register as a repeller, and you fundraise. Um, if you can raise $1,500 or more, you will earn your spot to repel. And it's easy to fundraise. Um, you just ask your friends and your family to support you and support Hattie Larlam. And you can do it through email, phone calls, regular mail, through um, our social media has been a great uh, way to fundraise. We have found put, posting it on Facebook, posting the link on Twitter, Instagram, and you know, encouraging people to support you in your repel because you're supporting a good cause at the same time. Now our dates are Friday, July the 1st, mm -hmm. and Saturday, July the 2nd. That's correct. How many people can we take to do this? Well, let's see. We're, we're the first hundred people who reach their $1,500 goal uh -huh. can earn their spot to repel. So um, there's lots of room. You're asking people to make a donation of, 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 of how much now? now to re there's a registration fee yeah. of $35, mm -hmm. and then you raise $1,500 to earn your spot. And then you can earn your spot, and then you That's can right. repel, not yes, jump. Yes, you can repel. repel <laughs> off, off the building. And, but exactly. this goes to do the wonderful work. Tell me about exactly. how you will use the mo this fundraising money on as you make on Friday, July 1st, and July 2nd. Well, the fundraising dollars are very important to Hattie Larlam because it helps provide services and opportunities such as our residential services at our 24-7 skilled nursing facility where we have about 128 mm -hmm. profoundly disabled children and adults that are there as well as our medical. And you were telling me Hattie Larlam was a pediatric nurse many, many exactly. years ago who kind of mm -hmm. star started all of this. That's so right. you're continuing that continuing the work of the Hattie Larlam Foundation. Well, yes. let's give it a good plug here. We can, uh, I'm going to give you a phone number, the audience out here, that you can call and get more information, or you can go to the website. I'll put them both up. You see that number, 330-840-6845. More information on everything we're talking about. Or you can go to Hattie Larlam, H-A-T-T-I-E-L-A-R. Uh, L H A M dot org. You see that at the bottom of the screen as well. The event is Friday, July the first, and Saturday, July the second. You'll have all that information. So when you it's show up and mm -hmm. dress appropriately, I would imagine you, you can wear a costume. You can wear if a costume. you wish. Yes, yes. I think we're, we're going to have Batman and Wonder Woman this year. That would We've be had Spider Man in past years. People have a lot of fun with us. So we'll do all of that then. We'll have a good, good, good day with it. But once again, give a phone call or or make or make a, 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 a get on the website. HattieLarlam.org, more information on everything we're talking about as we're talking about repelling off the Weston Hotel on July the 1st and July the 2nd here in downtown Cleveland. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate your being Thank on you the so broadcast. Much. Wendy Volker you, and Tani Alliance of Hattie Larlam. I'll take a break. I'll be right back in just a moment. This is Kaleidoscope. My name's Leon Bibb. We'll jump off a building in a moment. But we'll repel. <laughs> back in a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to Kaleidoscope. I hear music. Don't you? Tri-C's annual Jazz Fest, presented by Key Bank, opens on the June the 23rd with a concert celebrating the 80th birthday of music producer and Cleveland native Tony LaPuma. Director of the Tri-C Jazz Fest, Terry Pontremoli, is here to tell us what to expect for the 2016 Tri-C Jazz Fest. Good to see you, Terry. Nice to see you, too. Always good to talk about oh. jazz with you. Oh, you're always wonderful. You've been doing this for a little bit now. A long time. As director of the, as director of the Tri-C Jazz Fest. So you're, you've got big things planned for we this year. We have a big, it's a wonderful season. It's the 37th, which wouldn't be so big a number, but it's big for us because yeah. we're doing a lot of very cool things. Celebrating Tommy's birthday is is major. Tommy LaPuma. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and his, his career has spanned such great and diverse artists. You know, people that are like a Leon Russell mm -hmm. to people that are like Diana Krall. So they're all going to be on stage with him. Diana Krall with with uh, Al Jarreau, Dr. John, um, the Clayton Hamilton Jazz Orchestra, yeah. some uh, special appearances by Dominic Farinacci, people that he has worked with. Um, we feel that Tommy is one of the most important music producers in our history. Yeah. And um, so it's great to celebrate him in our own hometown. Yeah. And this is going to run for a couple of days now, from yeah. June the 23rd, which is Thursday through Saturday, June 25th. And we're so thrilled because this is now a 
ticketed and free indoor and out mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. So you buy tickets to go inside those wonderful theaters of Playhouse Square, from the Palace to the Hannah to the Outcult, where people can actually dance. Um, so the diff different concerts are going in there. And in the meantime, outside, there's a whole other festival going on that starts at 1 p.m. and goes until 1 a.m. with the best of Cleveland bands and people dancing and carrying on. It's really wonderful. You know, we here in Greater Cleveland, we love jazz music. We love all kinds of music, symphony music, rock and roll music, jazz music, and we're looking at pictures from, from uh, last year's uh, uh, event at, right on Euclid, right Euclid, on Avenue. Euclid Avenue. So we're jamming. I mean, we're really getting down. And people and are dancing under that chandelier. Mm -hmm. And this year, by the way, we're doing a special kickoff that's open to the public starting at 1230 on Friday. It's mm -hmm. called Keyed Up for Jazz Fest it's yeah, by our sponsors, yeah. Key Bank. Um, and that will involve all kinds of great, crazy, fun things, including the, the uh, Parade the Circle Puppets and Stilt Walkers and um, Samba Joya, the Brazilian band, and a group called Saxomatic. Saxomatic, I love that. <laughs> it's going to be great fun. I bet they're wonderful on the saxophones. <laughs> I get the, I get the, are. I get the play on words right there. <laughs> so, the, you are uh, the Tri C, the Cuyahoga Community College Tri C mm -hmm. Jazz Fest is one of the first educational jazz fest it in is. this country, isn't it? Right, and we're celebrating our history this year um, because 1980 was when it all started under mm -hmm. Do Dr. Tom Horning, and this year we have a new interactive museum like experience in the Tommy LaPuma Center for the Creative Arts and it will be where you can look at a screen you can click on different artists you can find different interviews all of our archives that we've been you know in boxes for years and years are now actually accessible to the public I've been following you since it began too I've been, I've been reporting <laughs> yeah. on this since 1980 <laughs> Tell, where can people get tickets and, and 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 what's the cost of the tickets to the concerts cost it's a whole bunch of concerts. it's a whole bunch of concerts I mean concerts that Dominic Farinacci is doing his CD release um, mm -hmm. Tommy LaPuma just produced that record it's uh, coming out on Mac Avenue today. Yeah. Um, so that is one of the concerts. Concerts actually tickets go from anywhere from around $30 to seventy-five, eighty dollars. So they got to jump on, jump on the on the on the website here, and they yeah. can get more information, on, or, or make a phone call, and you can get. And I'm going to put that website on trycjazzfest.com. You see it written there, trycjazzfest, and between the try and the c, there is a dash hyphen. there. Yeah, hyphen. Uh, trycjazzfest.com or two four one six thousand in the two one six area code. What do you like about doing this? I mean, you've been doing it for a little bit now. I have. Yeah. Been. What do you like about it? First of all, I love this music. I, th I think it's, it's such a beautiful, important American statement. It's respected and revered all over the world. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important. So it's, um, that's one of the things. I love the musicians. I love their free way of being and their expressive way of mm -hmm. being. Um, I love the effect that it has on the audience. Mm -hmm. um, the freedom, there's a freedom to jazz. Um, and so it keeps me in it to win it. <laughs> well, I love it. I, I love it, too. You know, I go back a long way with jazz. I mean, I started as a kid listening to jazz music. My uncle brought it into the home, and I was 12 years old, and I was popping my fingers and getting that rhythm going. And, right. and by the time I was 17, I was listening to Miles Davis and John Coltrane when they played together. And probably yet. escaping into clubs. Oh, I was sneaking into <laughs> clubs and having a wonderful time. But we don't have to sneak into the Tri-C Jazz Fest. It is open. It is run Thursday, June. 23rd through Saturday, June 25th at Playhouse Square. There are going to be jazz concerts all around. And uh, Terry Pontremoli is the director of the Tri-C Jazz Fest. We are most appreciative of you being on the broadcast with us. Thank you. It's nice keep, to be here. Keep the rhythm and the rhyme going. Always. And keep the music going as well. Always. I think we could take this on the road right there. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. I'll take a break. I'll be right back in just a moment. You know, I'm always glad to have you with me on this broadcast. Always glad to have you sitting around the table right here because we talk with interesting people about interesting things. We're going to talk about New Bridge Cleveland, how it trains adults for careers uh, that pay very well and are in demand, these jobs. The organization also has a year-round after-school arts and technology program for local high school students. Its chief program officer, Lorenzo Hales, is here to talk about New Bridge Cleveland. Yes. Hey, Lorenzo. Hi. Hi. Thank you. 
Thank you for having me, sir. Oh, it is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Tell me a little bit more about New Bridge Cleveland, what, what it is and what you try to do. Yes. Well, you know, New Bridge is actually the Cleveland Center for Arts and Technology. Um, what we do is offer educational opportunities for both adult and youth. Um, it's a nonprofit organization specializing in giving students resources, giving them opportunities so they can be successful. And, 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 you, and you're, you, you feel wonderful when you're able to get these folks hooked up Absolutely. to jobs. Yes, sir. That, 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 that's your bottom line. Yes. Well, how, how do you do that? Now, what kind of programs do, you, do they go through to, to, to get them linked up with meaningful employment? Right. Well, with Newbridge, we actually have two separate sectors. So we have the adult program, which you would be alluding to. Mm -hmm. With our adult programs, we offer phlebotomy. Um, we do pharmacy technician. Mm -hmm. And we also do a hospital nursing assistant program. Uh -huh. um, these courses are very short-term. They're hands-on, they're comprehensive. Um, our instructors have a wealth of experience and, and background in the fields, and they offer that support. So what they do is go through training, um, they get resources and support, and then upon completion, they go on externship sites, yeah. and then as a result, we assist them in pl being placed for employment opportunities. Yeah. What about the high school kids? Yes, so we actually offer you know, after-school programs during the school year. Um, those classes run Monday through Friday from 3.45 p.m. until 5.30. And those are arts-related curriculums. So music recording pr and production, graphic design, um, ceramics, as well as digital photography. Yeah. Do, is, there, is there a cost to get in these programs now? Our programs are completely free. Um, and that's something that I feel very strongly about because we want to give students resources. We want to give them opportunities. And Oftentimes, individuals that we serve don't have those things accessible or readily available. So we want to make certain that we're giving them opportunities to get out there and, and be successful. Where, where do they go to take this, these classes, this training, <laughs> mm -hmm. which can lead to employment? Yes, sir. We actually are located at 3634 Euclid. Um, really within our building and our facilities, we encourage students to go on to our website, um, which is newbridgecleveland.org, mm -hmm. and they can actually enroll that way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You are excited about this kind of Very thing. much so. Because you're changing lives. Yes. And how, how, how long has, has Newbridge been out here changing yes, lives? Yes, yes. Newbridge, we've actually been here in, in Cleveland since 2010. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what about the criteria for, for getting involved? Now, I would imagine that a lot of folks are looking for jobs and looking for training. Yes. What, what, what do they need to do to link up with Newbridge? Yes, well, um, for our students with, with, within our adult programs, we only... In, ask that a student have a high school diploma or equivalent, okay? Um, we encourage them to come to our facilities. Um, oftentimes we'll have our recruitment specialists or one of our administrative assistants provide tours, provide them information so that way they can be linked up. Um, what'll happen is they'll go onto our website and then from there, um, you know, we just go accordance to what would be needed. And really through and through, we want to ensure that they get all of the resources and information they need so they can successfully enroll. I want to put a phone number on the screen as we continue our conversation with Lorenzo Hales, who's Chief Program Officer for New Bridge Cleveland. That phone is 216-867-9775. Yes. Or you can go to newbridgecleveland.org. You see the website and the telephone number at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. You've got something my notes tell me, uh, an in-demand career program for adults. Yes. What is in demand? Yes, well, we see here in Northeast Ohio that health care in general is in demand. Um, currently, as it stands right now, for our students that complete our programs, they have an 85% job placement rate. So we certainly encourage our students to be there every day. Um, the adult programs, they go Monday through Friday. Um, class times are from 8.30 until 2.30. So it's a rigorous program, and it's a heavy commitment that we ask for our students. But as long as they stay the course, and as long as they're working directly with the instructors, as long as they're attentive and, and really placing a high level of importance and urgency upon their education, we're going to do all we can to get them out in the workforce. We work directly with you know, some of your, your main hospitals and healthcare facilities here in Northeast Ohio. So we have the relationships, we have the resources. It's just about coming in and embracing that and doing what you can to make changes. You talked about how heavy commitment, that's important. This, yes, this is important. Anything worthwhile, you've got to put some effort into it. Yes, sir. Nobody gives you anything. No. Not in this not, world. Not, not, not no. unless I missed, <laughs> missed that class or something. Right. So what, 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 what's, your, what's your advice to people? What, what do you tell people when, when you look at the whole philosophical concept of what we're talking about, the, mm -hmm. the adults and the, and the kids. Yes, well, for the adults, um, you know, I have great passion for both the adults and the youth, but really with the adults, quite often the students that we service, they have a lot of challenges. You know, maybe they face unemployment or 
they're not satisfied with their job. Mm -hmm. um, they're looking to support and provide resources to their families. They're just looking to make changes. So my advice to those individuals are, you know, come to Newbridge because we offer curriculum that's going to give you outcomes. And it's not going to cost you anything. It's not going to cost it's gonna, you anything. It's going to be free. Absolutely. This is like free money, yes, sir. although the money may come later on. Right, right, absolutely. And then for our youth, um, dealing with, you know, high school students, we actually run grades 9th through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. So with those, you know, really just getting them engaged and, and involved in something other than just what, like, a school curriculum or activity would be, you know, getting them thinking about arts, being, becoming more passionate about their yeah. studies. and. Hopefully, you know, it would lead to post-secondary opportunities and, and really just a sustained way of thinking about education. New Bridge is located at East 36th Street and Euclid Avenue, yes, 3634 Euclid Avenue mm -hmm. in the Cleveland Midtown Corridor area. 216-867-9775 or newbridgecleveland.org. More information on everything Lorenzo Hales has talked about. He is the Chief Program Officer for New Bridge Cleveland. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Take care. You too. Bless you for what you do, too. Thank you. I'll take a break. I'll be right back. Marsha Maccabee of the Urban League comes to the stage in a moment. Time for the morning exchange segment. That means Marsha Maccabee of the Urban League. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Leon. How are you? Okay. Good. What are you thinking about today? Well, listen, I brought something to share with you today. Uh -huh. uh, in May, uh, we, the National Urban League, launched, as it does every year, its State of Black America report. And what's so intriguing about this year is it's the 40th year of the State of Black America, and the title is, of course, Locked Out Education, Jobs, and yeah. Justice, which is so different from the March on Washington, which was, you know, the March on Washington for Jobs, Justice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, and and all of that so um, this report we don't you know we, we have a small amount of time mm -hmm. each 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 segment but what I want to do over the next month or so is really share with you some specific excerpts about economics education health and civic engagement disparities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and look at what happened 40 years ago and kind of what the view is now yeah. and then take a particular focus on what's happening here in Cleveland with respect to this national report yeah so you, you you're gonna you're gonna keep us apprised Absolutely. of how we are doing why is this vital we've got about 40 seconds remaining or 35 seconds okay why is this vital well one of the reasons why this is is so important is for the same reason that it was done uh, when the report was first released in the beginning. Um, when this report was released during Vernon Jordan's time, there was no commentary about what was happening in the black mm -hmm. community, the mm -hmm. African American yeah. community, mm -hmm. and and why, and with all the presidents, we're talking about what was happening in the nation, yeah. but nothing was touching on our lives. So this is the Urban League's way of keeping out front what's happening in the African American community. We also compare it to Hispanic, that. right? Okay. Also, we're going to continue this conversation because she's with us at the bottom of Kaleidoscope all the time. But right now, we got to go. Take care. This has been a presentation of News Channel 5's Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland.